Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zate Gardens. And I've grown about four feet since last video. And I'm just kidding, I'm on my little step ladder. And there's a Fantasia nectarine. I'm gonna be talking about, there's a little ladybug. I'm gonna be talking about the Moringa right now. And uh, of all of its growth, that the some of the limbs like that one over here is getting so top heavy that it's just tipping over so they're just like tipping over like this so it's time to start pruning back but i don't like to prune heavily uh with not much growth on the bottom so it, if i didn't eat or use uh, the bottom branches as fertilizers in the ground or as fertilizer excuse me i would have just hack back the limbs to help bush it out from that point but since i don't have any growth down here i don't want to risk cutting everything back and nothing growing but down there or it's being too stressed so what i like to do with some of my trees is um <clears throat> or what people ask me where should i prune the best place to prune if you're not sure not in every tree but at least for moringa let's say is just tip prune just a terminal bud just that's that's it right there and just do that to everyone see how that we have a branch coming here and over here but right there this is actually a terminal bud right here but I'm just gonna take off all of it wow there's flowers on every node but I'm gonna be doing it to uh, so the terminal bud here and this is about almost I think I measured it's about a little over eight feet and uh, we're not even at the 1st of August, so it's going to do really well this, uh, this time around because it didn't really die back at all during the, um, during the winter. Isn't that pretty? The moringa right here, then the, the humongous crepe myrtle, the palm and the sky. This is why I love gardening. I don't know why more people don't do it. I actually have a lot of people tell me what a waste of time this is when food's just cheaper and easier in the store. I don't know, whatever. I'm going, I'm going off a tangent. I need to go back to this so you can see the flowers. They're about to open soon. Oh, I just broke some off. It's okay. Um, but yeah, just go through everyone. That's it. I'm not going to do the whole video like this, so bear, bear with me. I don't know which one's terminal bud here. And so I'm just gonna break it all off. And yeah, pretty much it, right there. Just do that. And then of course, fertilizer. Tons of cherry tomatoes on a cherry tomato plant. I don't know how many, it's, it's in the hundreds, just from one plant. It's in the hundreds, you can see all the white, red, the yellow, and this is just this side, so it's amazing. Cherimoy is doing really well in the heat. So if you're worried about where to prune to promote growth and you don't want to hack off too much, just do tip pruning. Uh, I'm going to be doing this till I'm finished. It won't take me that long. All right, everybody. Happy gardening. Okay, like, share, subscribe. And thanks for watching, everyone.